What's the first thing that you need to do before you release your music? That's a question that I get asked all the time and it's completely understandable. You hear that you need to join a PRO, you need to register your copyrights, find a publishing administrator, and it can all feel a bit overwhelming. So in this video, I'm gonna simplify things for you. What's up guys, Justin here, and today I'm gonna to answer a question that I received from a subscriber named Khalid, AKA MCKD. Now, this is a question I get asked a lot, or at least a variation of a common question. So he asked, how do I start before I release a song? What's first, BMI or ASCAP or copyright.gov or publishing administration or song trust or what, I'm lost. So in this video, I'm gonna explain exactly what those things are and what role they play in your music career. Now, in a nutshell, there are three types of organizations involved with that question. There are performance rights organizations, or PROs, your national copyright office, and a publishing administrator. Now, all three of these organizations deal in some way with the ownership of your music and the licensing and royalties involved. And you don't actually need any of them to release your music if you don't care about getting paid all the potential royalties that you may be owed someday. Now, you can upload your music directly to a distributor like CD Baby, DistroKid, or TuneCore, and they're gonna get you placed on all the major streaming platforms. And you don't necessarily need to register your copyrights or sign up with a PRO or publisher in order to do that. However, you should register with all these types of organizations. Now, to clarify, you don't really need to do this in any particular order. If you've already uploaded your music to Spotify and Apple Music and all those great streaming services, you can still go back now and register your copyrights, join a PRO like ASCAP or BMI, and sign up for publishing administration with a service like SongTrust. So, let's talk about each of those individually. Now, first, there's your copyright. Now, copyright protects the ownership of a creative work, like your music. When you write a song and record that in a tangible medium, meaning that it's no longer in your head, when you, you know, when a song's in your head, no one knows it's there. So you can't prove it was ever there. You don't own any copyright yet. But as soon as you record that song into the physical world, whether that be a rough track recorded to the hard drive of your computer or song lyrics written down on a napkin, as soon as that song has been put into the physical world where other people can hear it or see it, you now own that copyright. So if someone wanted to record a cover version of your song or perform your song live in public, they would owe you a royalty. They would be legally required to pay you. And you don't have to actually ever register your copyright. You own that copyright whether you register it or not. However, your copyright will be much better protected if you do register it. And it can be very difficult to actually prove that you own a song if you don't register it. So nobody knows when you wrote those song lyrics down on that napkin, uh, to them it just looks like a napkin, right? So when you register your copyright, on the other hand, there's an official document proving that you registered it at a certain time. So not only is that important for collecting royalties, but it also protects you if someone tries to steal your song and claim that they wrote it, and it protects you from somebody suing you if they decide that they wrote a song or melody first and wanna claim that you stole it. So it's always a smart idea to register your copyrights as soon as possible, and that's something that you would do with your national copyright office. If you live in the United States, you would just go to copyright.gov. If you live outside the US, just do a Google search for copyright office and the name of your country. And if you have any questions about copyrights, please contact an actual entertainment attorney because I am not one. Now, next we have performance rights organizations, or PROs as they're commonly referred. ASCAP, BMI, and CSAC are some of them that are some of the PROs that you may have heard of. Uh, those are the big ones in the United States, but there are others outside the US. So you'll just need to do some research to find the PROs in your own country if you do live outside the US. Uh, so what are PROs? What do they do? Well, in short, they collect performance royalties. Anytime your music is performed in public, you're owed a royalty. If someone performs a live cover of one of your songs, if a recording of your music is played at a bar or at a sporting event or on television, anytime your music is played in public, you're owed a royalty for that performance. But you need to register with a PRO in order to be paid that royalty. So PROs like ASCAP and BMI collect performance royalties on your behalf and make sure that you get paid when your music is performed in public. And you only need to register with one, you don't need to register with all of them, so you choose one, register with them. 
That's what a PRO does. They collect performance royalties for songwriters and publishers. Now, let's move on to publishing administration. When you write and record a song, there are two copyrights involved, assuming that you're the one that wrote it and the one that recorded it. Uh, there's a copyright of the recording, so you own the recorded version of your song that gets distributed to streaming services, and then there's a copyright for the song itself. The royalties involved with the copyright for the actual song itself are referred to as mechanical royalties. So when you upload your music to a distributor, you're going to get paid your royalties on the music anytime it's streamed, but they don't typically keep track of all of your mechanical royalties. So if another artist were to record a cover version of your song, that artist would owe you a licensing fee. They would need to pay you a licensing fee for that. And that's something that your publishing administrator would handle. They make sure that you get paid your mechanical royalties and they also collect your performance royalties from your PRO. So you still need to register with a PRO, but if you also have a publishing administrator, they'll collect those royalties on your behalf as well as any mechanical royalties you're owed. In simple terms, your publishing administrator will make sure that you get all the royalties you're owed that aren't already being paid to you from your distributor. So to quickly recap, copyrights protect your ownership of the music you create. Register your copyrights as soon as you can to officially protect the ownership of that music and make sure that you get paid all your royalties. Register with a PRO and they'll collect performance royalties on your behalf. And then register with a publishing administrator like SongTrust and they'll act as a one-stop shop to make sure that you get all the royalties that you're owed. So back to the original question of what do you do first? Well, registering with a PRO and signing up with a publishing administrator is something that you'll just do once. First register with a PRO, then sign up with a publishing administrator. And then from that point on, Anytime you register a song with your publisher, they'll automatically register it with your PRO so you don't have to do both. So here's a simple answer. The order of operations uh, would be, the easiest answer for order of operations would be register with a PRO like ASCAP or BMI, then a publisher like SongTrust. Then whenever you write new music, go ahead and register your copyright first, then register your song with your publisher, and then upload your music to your distributor. And don't worry if you already have a bunch of music that's on Spotify and you haven't registered that, uh, you haven't registered any of your copyrights or joined a PRO or signed up with a publishing administrator, you can still do all that now. You can go do that now for all of your previous releases and then in the future, just be sure that you register your copyright, then register your songs with your publisher and then upload your music to your distributor. So hopefully that helped to clarify some things. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like, comment, and share. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do that now. It's free to do. And be sure to tick that little bell icon to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.